All right, question of the week in lecture review number 34. Our question is, which of the following movements would cause the SCM to lengthen on the right side of the body? Is it going to be A, unilateral flexion of the head, B, bilateral flexion of the head, C, rotation of the head to the right, or D, rotation of the head to the left? One more time. Which of the following movements would cause the SEM to lengthen on the right side of the body? Is it going to be unilateral flexion of the head, bilateral flexion of the head, rotation of the head to the right, or rotation of the head to the left? So I'll give you a few moments to work on this one, and then we'll go ahead and head over to the explanation. All right, so in the community tab, I asked you which of the following movements would cause the SCM to lengthen on the right side of the body. And we had a great turnout here. We had 37 votes. I also let you know that this is an advanced level question. This was a tough question. So 5% of you said it was going to be unilateral flexion of the head. 11% of you said it was going to be bilateral flexion of the head. 14% of you said it was going to be rotation of the head to the right. And then 70% of you said it was going to be rotation of the head to the left. And then thank you to the 14 people who liked this post. I appreciate it. So a majority of you said it was going to be rotation of the head to the left. So let's see if this is the correct answer. Now let's take a look at this question one more time. Which of the following movements would cause the SCM to lengthen on the right side of the body? So first of all, we have to figure out what is the SCM? So the SEM is going to be our sternocleidomastoid muscle. And so that is going to look like this, where it has two muscle heads. We have the sternal head and then we have the clavicular head. So these are its origins, the sternum and the clavicle. And then it's going to run up to its insertion at the mastoid process, which is going to be at the base of the skull. And so this is the sternocleidomastoid muscle. Now this question wants us to find the movement that is going to lengthen the sternocleidomastoid on the right side of the body. So let's take a look at A and B. We have unilateral flexion of the head, and then we have bilateral flexion of the head. And so when you see uni, it means on one side. When you see bi, it means on both sides. So unilateral is going to be on one side of the body, and bilateral is going to be on both sides of the body. So let's take a look at this. So here we have flexion, and then here we have extension. And this is taking place on both sides of the body. So remember that the sternocleidomastoid is originating here, and then it's going to insert at the base of the skull, at the mastoid process. So when we flex, when we are in a flexed position, the sternocleidomastoid, its origin is here, it is being pulled closer to its origin from its insertion. When we extend, it is going to then lengthen. It's going to lengthen an extension. And so flexion, bilateral flexion, is not the correct answer. Let's take a look at unilateral flexion of the head. So in this video, I am laterally flexing to the left side of the body, and my right sternocleidomastoid is lengthening. Now, this would be correct if the answer said unilateral flexion of the head to the left side of the body. But since it does not specifically say that, and it just says unilateral flexion of the head, it is not the correct answer because it needs to be just a little bit more specific. So this is also not the correct answer. So we are left with C, rotation of the head to the right, or D, rotation of the head to the left. So we have a 50-50% chance of getting this answer correct. So let's take a look at this. So right here is the origin of the sternocleidomastoid. It's going to originate at the sternum as well as the clavicle. And then it's going to insert at the base of my skull at the mastoid process. Now, when I rotate my head to the left, it is then going to shorten because it's going to bring the insertion closer to the origin. So here you can see that it is shortened. Now, when I go to rotate my head to the right, you can see now that the insertion is much further away from the origin. So now it is lengthened on the right side of the body. 
And then you can also tell that my left side, my left sternocleidomastoid is now in a shortened position. So the right side is now lengthened when I rotate my head to the right. So the correct answer here is rotation of the head to the right. This is going to lengthen the right side of the body, the right sternocleidomastoid. And so 14% of you got this answer correct. Now, if you did not get this answer correct, I would encourage you to subscribe to my Patreon page where you have direct access to me and you can ask me any questions on there. And I also make videos from your questions. I make live lessons. I have Inblex review courses and I just dive much deeper into this material so that you're better prepared for the Inblex. And so I would encourage you to make sure you know this information because anatomy and physiology is going to be 11 to 12% of the Inblex, which is going to be 11 to 12 questions out of 100. And then the kinesiology portion is also going to be 11 to 12%, which is going to be 11 to 12 questions out of 100. So that's already 22 to 24 questions on the Inblex concerning material like this. So I would highly encourage you to check out my Patreon page if this is a question that you did not get right. All right, y'all have a wonderful week ahead and I will see y'all on the next question of the week. Y'all take care.